Hi viewers, I am Savita Meri, Assistant Professor of Mathematics, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Kadalur. In this video, I am going to explain about the topic uh, sequencing problem. The sequencing problem is nothing but it deals with the selection of an optimum model for the number of jobs to be performed with a finite number of facilities. So, the number of facilities is nothing but it means the number of machines. When a number of jobs are given to be done and they require a processing on two or more machines, the main concern of your manager is to find the order of the sequence to perform uh, from these jobs. Such sequencing problems can be broadly divided into three groups, N jobs, two machine problem, N jobs, three machine problem, and N jobs, M machine problems. Let's see the processing of N job through two machines. The problem is to find the sequence of jobs so as to minimize the total elapsed time. That is, determine a sequence of this job that will minimize the total elapsed time. Also, finding the ideal time for machine A and B. So, the solution of the above problem can be found by Johnson's procedure. Here, the Johnson's procedure. Step 1. Select the smallest processing time occurred in the list of jobs which is given for machine A and B. If there is a tie, either of the smallest processing time of next machine can be selected. Step 2. If the minimum time is equal to A, that is uh, from the given processing time, A I S exists for the minimum time, the ith job will perform first. If the minimum time exists in the a, uh, eighth machine, the ith job will perform first. If the minimum time exists for bth machine, then the jth job will perform at the last. Step 3. Repeat step 1 and step 2 for the remaining set of processing times obtained by deleting the processing time for both the machines corresponding to the job already assigned. Continue in the same manner till the entire job have been ordered. After finding the optimal sequence as, uh, as started above, find the total elapsed time and ideal times on machine A and machine B. The total elapsed time will be calculated as the time between starting from the first job in the optimal sequence of machine A and the completing of the job in the optimal sequence of machine B. Then ideal time on machine A will be calculated by subtracting uh, the completion time of machine B and the completion time of machine A. So, can find the ideal time for machine A is subtracting the completion time of machine A from the completion time of machine B. So, the ideal time on machine B is nothing but the time when the first job is completed on machine A is called as uh, the ideal time for machine B. Here we see a problem. The given problem is a two machine. Two machines and uh, nine jobs are given in this problem. We have to find the total elapsed time for the given problem. Here we have to find the minimum processing time from the given table. Here the minimum processing time is 2, uh, which is selected from the uh, machine P, that is the first machine, and it, and it was uh, selected as corresponding task K. So, machine 2 which correspond to the task K. So, the task A how to perform at first. So, because uh, the minimum time to occur in machine 1, so the job A has to perform at first for the uh, new sequencing schedule. After assigning task K, we leave the column 
then we have left eight tasks on two machines from this eight tasks again find the minimum processing time in the uh, rescheduled problem and the minimum processing time is 3 which correspond to the job E and G so both the job on the second machine so that is the corresponding job selected jobs are uh, take, taken in the machine 2 so that we can arrange the jobs in the last we can arrange the jobs in the last there are two possibilities to arrange the two jobs so the first possibility is since the corresponding processing time of task E on machine P is less than the corresponding processing time of task G on machine Q. Therefore, at first uh, I have taken this order that is a job E at last and before the last uh, next uh, G has arranged. So this is the new sequencing order. There are two possibilities. We can select the two possibility as our convenient. After assigning the task E and G, we have remaining six tasks. So from these six tasks, again we have to find the minimum processing time. So there, so yeah, minimum processing time is four. So the four is placed in three places. So the first place is uh, for uh, task C and the second place is task four and third place is for task D. In the first two, uh, task C and I is uh, correspond to machine P. Task D is correspond to the machine Q. So, uh, correspond to the machine P, C and I will be arranged in the forwarding direction of the sequence and uh, D will be arranged in the backward direction of the sequence. Okay. So, therefore, the task C which has less processing time on P will be processing first and then uh, the task I and task D will be placed at the last. Now the problem is reduced as a 3 task and 2 machines. So from this 3 task 2 machine the minimum processing time is 5 which occurs for both B and H tasks on machine P. So B and H task on machine P. So we arrange the B and H in forward direction. Again the remaining task F can be placed in the sixth sequencing cell. Now we got the optimal sequence represented as below. There are two possibility here. So these are the new optimal sequences. Now, we can create a table to find the total elapsed time. In this table, the job sequence is uh, optimal job sequence. We have to fill up the optimal job sequence, which is uh, uh, occurred in the before slide. Then, uh, machine P, the in time and out time for machine P, there are two columns, and uh, in time and out time for machine Q. Okay. So, the in time for machine P, for task A is initially it is 0. Then the out time is the, the taken time, the total time taken for task 2 is 2 hours. So that is a time, out time for task A. Then we want to task I. So the task I uh, working time is 4 hours. So the in time is time out for patient P. Then in time for task I is 2 hours. In adding uh, working time 4, so 2 plus 4, we reach 6 is the out time for machine P. Then the in time for machine P is 6 for task C. Then out time for task C is 6 plus 4. So 6 plus 4, so 4 is the working time for task C. So 6 plus 4, 10. Again, the 10 is the in time for machine, uh, machine P. In time for machine P is 10 for task B. So, task B working time for machine P is 5. So, 10 plus 5, 15. We got the out time for machine uh, P for the task B is 15. Then, in time for task H is 
15 in time for task H is 15 in machine P. Then out time for task H is 15 plus the working time for H is 5. So 15 plus 5 is 20. Then in time for task F is 20. Then the working time for F is 8. So 20 plus 8, 28. Then move on to the next uh, order D. So the task D is in time is 28. The working time for task D is 9. So 28 plus 9, 37. Continue this process for the remaining uh, task E and G because uh, final el total elapsed time for mission P is 50 hours. So the final time, total elapsed time is 50 hours. Now we can move on to the total elapsed time for machine Q. So the, in the same manner, we can take the in time for machine Q is nothing but out time for machine P. The in time for machine Q for the first task is out time for machine P in the first task. So the out time for machine P is 2 hours. So that is the in time for machine Q. Then adding the uh, hours for task A. So 6 hours for task A working, for, working in machine Q is 2 plus 6, 8 hours is an out time. So 8 hours for the out time for mission Q uh, to do the task A. Then want to task I. So in time for task I and mission Q is. So you have to fill up the in time by comparing the out time of mission P for task I and out time of task a in machine Q. So out time of task I in machine P, out time of task A in machine Q. So from this to the maximum working time how to be taken as an in time for machine Q. So the maximum working time, maximum time out will be taken as in time for machine Q. From this to 6 and 8, 8 is maximum. So in time for task I in machine Q is 8. Then uh, the working time for task I in, for machine Q is 11. So 8 plus 11, 19. Then in time for task C is 19 because the in time, out time of task C in machine P is 10 and out time of task I in machine Q is 19. From 10 and 19, 19 is maximum of. So, the in time for machine Q uh, to do the task, task C is 19. Then, adding the working hour for task C. The task C working hour is 7. So, 19 plus 7, 26. Likewise, you can continue this process for task B. So, the task B in time for machine Q is 26. Because comparing this to... 15 and 26. 15 is the out time task, uh, out time for task B and uh, out time for task C is 26. So 26 is the maximum R. So in time for task B, formation Q is 26. So adding the working time of task B uh, in machine Q is 8 hours. So 26 plus 8 is 34. And again continue this process for H machine uh, H task. So we can continue this process for task H, task F, task D, E, and G. We get the total elapsed time. So the total elapsed time is the final time out of machine Q is called total elapsed time. And see the ideal time here. The machine P is working continuously. So 0 to 2, then 2 to 6. 6 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 28, 28 to 37 and 37 to 43, 43 to 50. It is continuously working. So there is no ideal time for um, machine P. And the machine P having ideal time at last uh, where machine Q is completing the work. So the 
completion time of machine q is 61 and completion time of machine p is 50 so from this to the difference is 11 this is called ideal time for machine p and ideal time for machine q so in machine q so in time is 2 out time is 8 then in time is 8 out time is 90 so in time 19 to 26 out time uh, 26 then in time 26 out time 34 in time 34 out time 42 in time 42 out time 51 in time 51 out time 55 then in time 55 out time 58 in time 58 out time 58 so there is no difference between in time and out time so that there is no ideal time for machine p in from uh, the uh, second sequence to last sequence but the first sequencing place that is the first task A, there is an ideal time uh, 2 hours, that is from 0 to 2 hours, the machine P is lies as ideal, so the ideal time for machine Q is 2 hours. So finally, we got the total elapsed time for the given job sequence is 21 hours and ideal time for machine P is 11 hours and ideal time for machine Q is 2 hours. So for the given new sequencing, the optimal sequencing order is A, I, C, B, H, F, D, E, G is the optimal sequencing order. It has the total elapsed time 61 hours. So this is... Thank you for watching the video.